Okay, here we are at 6273 South Gold Leaf. Here's your five bedroom, two and a half bath, three car garage. It is on the cul de sac, very quiet neighborhood, all large homes. And here's where you go down the street to get out. I've been here 15 minutes, no traffic at all out here. Okay, so as we approach the home, you'll see this would be pretty much the view that you would have from your garage looking out to the cul-de-sac. Okay, the entryways on these homes don't aren't right at the front of the home. They are kind of around to the side. So we come around to this side. You can see the nice size of the lots. And we have this covered area here. We have the view window above the double entrance doors. So we come on in. We have a high ceiling foyer area. Oh, I meant to tell you, there's dogs home. And we go to the right, we have the main living area. They're using it for a pool table, as you can see, but very light and airy. Nice collection right there, that's for sure. You look straight out to the front of the house, and it is a high ceiling in here. So, I mean, good for a pool table or for whatever other use. Then we're back into the main foyer area. If we go directly across from the front door, we have the only downstairs bedroom. It's a double-doored bedroom. It does have your closets. And obviously this could be used as a um, could be used as a den. Back door to the puppies. It could be used as a den or office or guest room. Quite large really. We have our coat closet right there as we go back in towards the three-car garage. Good size. They do have the extra space here for the three-car garage. That's what they're using for storage. And there's your secondary door that'll lead outside. You have your gas water heater with your appropriate venting. They even have a, an extra freezer in here, so you can tell how much extra space there is. So as we go in, again, we're in the main foyer area. And this would be your formal dining room. It looks like these guys are packing up. They're getting ready to go. The formal dining room has a lower ceiling, and it does have the servant's door. It looks like that door swings both ways, if you know what I mean. We have another closet, that'll be storage, and that'll go, that goes underneath the stairs. I've seen them deeper, but it's good, good and deep anyways. As we enter into the secondary living area, you can start to see the backyard. We have what we call the breakfast nook. We have the island, it has granite, very reminiscent of what I had over at Kessler Street. The granite is up on the sill here, which is very nice. We have our cabinetry, black appliances. There's a service door back to, into the formal dining area. And a nice little desk area, very, very common. Here we have a secondary living area. It looks like this is where they spend most of their time. As you come through the secondary living area, we're going to go back to where the dogs are being kept right now. And if you remember, that door that you're seeing is into that other bedroom slash den slash office whatever that might be this is the half bath it's the only bath that's downstairs looks um, very accommodating and as we scare the puppies out the door you see a very ample laundry room we have shelves we have lots of space in here and the doggies have a doggy door that they don't want to use because it's hot outside, man. Okay, we're going to go back through the home to the main entryway and go on up the stairs. High ceiling again. And the stairway. Um, I would have to say 
these people are going to have to give up some type of allowance for the carpet. Because if I was moving in here, I would definitely want to go ahead and get some new carpet before I moved in. And of course, you'd want to paint it also. As we get to the top of the stairs, the first double doors is the master suite. The master suite, quite large, nice and airy. Looks like a, I don't know, 10 foot ceiling in here, maybe a 9 foot ceiling. We're going to go on into the master suite bath. You have your stand up shower. I like the window, surprisingly. We have the vanity tub with the glass block in two corners. Nice. You have your double sinks. We have some linen cabinetry here. And then you have the separate room for the throne. And we do have Meredith doors here. Hi Sal, how you doing? And behind there, we're going to have the walk-in closet. I would say that this walk-in closet is large enough for Debbie's stuff. Todd will have to keep his stuff somewhere else. Okay. There's the floors. Uh, some type of tile. I'm nice enough. And they could use a new entertainment center in here. Now, as we go back out to the stairs, you're going to notice two steps up and you go to this loft area. These are very popular with um, this year of build, no doubt about it. We have one of the strange windows with that archway top that obviously they didn't get a proper style of blinds for. I think that really hurts you. Uh, you can see how much room it's here. It's a lot of room. They've got, they have a number of different things going on here. And this is the entryway to the upstairs patio area where you are king of all you survey, which includes the neighbor's yards, your pool, the neighbor's pool. I think we can complain about all that uh, grass over there. He's got too much going on. And a very ample side yard over here. Nice size patio out here. Okay, now we're going to go down the hallway to the three be other bedrooms, the three secondary bedrooms that are upstairs. Give you a little look down over the railing. The first of the bedrooms, again, quite ample sized. I'm going to guess this is at least a 12 by 12. We have the double door storage, double sliding doors, quite ample, windows, fans in all rooms. As we go farther down, let me give you a little shot of this pot shelf up here also. Now we're going to go down the hallway a little more. We run into another closet, good storage there. We have the last of the full bath does have a double vanity. That's going to be one sink for each girl. Looks like that's what they're using it for right now, as a matter of fact. And you do have the larger tub in here. You have the little vanity tub in here with the shower head and the window. Now we come to those last two bedrooms. The first one is empty. These bedrooms give you an idea they're directly over the garage. This is a good sized room by here. I'm going to say it's about a 12 by 14. You have a window that looks directly down out over the front yard and driveway. You have the double sliding doors for the closet. Very nice room and the ceiling fan. As we go to the last of the bedrooms, someone is using this one. It's not the exact same size, but it is very close to the same square footage. This one might just be, a, you know, 10, 20 square feet less, might be a little bit smaller. It does look down over the front yard and driveway. And I'm going to say this is Tom's room, and that Tom should clean this sucker up if he wants to help his parents sell. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to run back down the stairs and look at the backyard from 
the downstairs entry point entry points because I know we just kind of looked at it from the patio up here. The dogs are not getting used to me. They're just tired of barking. Very unique little uh, entryway to the backyard. You normally see, you see the double sliding glass doors. They just have the single door here with a doggy door cut in it. Nice little covered patio area here that they're using primarily for storage. When you come and take a look out, we have plenty of privacy. Pool with the pop-ups in the bottom. Pe Pebble Tech with the water feature. And here we have, oh, that's the uh, water quality management system. Here's your pumps and skimmers and filters. Notice two pumps here also. Those are big. One must be just for the water feature, which is not running right now. Very nicely landscaped with desert landscaping around the pool. And then you get to it's not a poured curbing, but it is uh, laid bricks for curbing around here that encompasses a grass area. And then they have this little intrusion of the um, desert landscaping that comes in again. Uh, not my favorite. I would have preferred grass all the way across. Here's a quick shot of the back of the house. Uh, the, the home is not in model condition, it's not pristine. It does need some improvement, but I'm sure there'd be a way to work that out with the owners. It looks to me like they are ready to move. Okay, well, I hope this has been uh, helpful and informative for you. I know the puppy dogs enjoyed me being here. And uh, I'll, I'll send this off to you guys and give you a call. Thanks, bye.